Hello and welcome to Insights IS. Let's start with the first issue that is SPG Amendment Bill 2019. So what is the provision of the bill? We'll discuss. Recently the parliament has passed the Special Protection Group Amendment Bill 2019 that is the SPG Amendment Bill. The SPG Bill will amend the SPG Act of 1988. Aims is to reduce the financial burden of VIP security on the state exchequer. The reduction of SPG coverage will also help to eliminate the notion of state symbol attached to it. What is Special Protection Group? The SPG was raised in 1985 to provide security coverage to the Prime Minister, former Prime Ministers and their immediate family members. The SPG comprises the personnel from the CRPF, Border Security Force and other central and state forces. The amendment, in the amendment it is mentioned, two, two things are uh, there, one is reduced SPG coverage and second is time period. In the first thing, the protection to be offered only to Prime Minister, former Prime Ministers and their immediate family members that will reside within him at his official residence. The security will be provided only for a period of 5 years to the former Prime Ministers and their immediate family after they leave the office. However, the immediate family members need to be residing with the former Prime Minister at the allotted residence. The next issue is Typhoon Kamori. Typhoon is the cyclone which is named in Southeast Asian countries and hurricane in uh, American countries. Recently a typhoon struck the Philippines. It is known locally as Tisoe and it is the 20th typhoon to hit the country this year. Tropical Cyclone Cyclone is the formation of a very low pressure system with very high speed winds revolving around it. Factors like this is very important because prelim, in prelims they are asking about the factors uh, pertaining to cyclone. First is wind speed, wind direction, temperature and humidity which affect the cyclone and they contribute to the development of cyclones. Cyclones are hurricanes in the North Atlantic and Eastern Pacific. Typhoons are Southeast Asia and China and tropical cyclones in the Southwest Pacific and Indian Ocean region. So you have to remember it. Then the next issue is Mahila Kisan Shashakti Karan Pariyojana. It is very very important because it is not covered under Ministry of Agriculture. It is covered under Ministry of Rural Development. It is very very important. Please remember it. In line with the provisions of the National Policy for Farmers that is MTF 2007, the Department of Rural Development under Ministry of Rural Development is implementing a program exclusively for women farmers namely Mahila Kisan Sasakti Karan Pariyojana. Funding supports to the tune of up to 60% and 90% to northeastern states for such projects is provided by the Government of India. The 60% to states uh, except North States. About Mahila Kisan Sasakti Karan Pariyojana. It is a subcomponent of Din Dayal Antadaya Yojana, that is Day NRLM. In comment box mention in which year Day NRLM was launched. Let's discuss in details about this Mahila Sasakti Karan Pariyojana. It seeks to improve the present status of women in agriculture and to enhance the opportunities available to empower her. This MKSP recognizes the identity of Mahila as Kishan and strives to build the capacity of women in the domain of agro-ecologically sustainable practices. Objectives and significance were there important from prelims and men's point of view. The focus of this scheme is on capacitating smallholders to adopt sustainable climate resilient agro-ecology and eventually create a pool of skilled community professionals. Guys in comment box mention what is the difference between a farmer and a peasant. Its objective is to strengthen smallholder agriculture through promotion of sustainable agriculture practices such as community managed sustainable agriculture that is CMSA, non-pesticide management NPM, zero budget natural farming and Pashu Sakhi model for 
डुअ स्टेप एनिमल केयर सर्विसेस सस्टेनेबल रिजेनरेसन एंड हार्वेस्टिंग ऑफ नॉन टिम्बर फॉरेस्ट प्रोड्यूस गाइज इन कमेंट बॉक्स मेंशन हु वाज द हु प्रोफाउंडेड दिस आइडिया जीरो बजट नेचुरल फार्मिंग एंड व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग एंड जीरो बजट नेचुरल फार्मिंग नीड फॉर फेमिनाइजेशन ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट दिस रूरल वुमेन फॉर्म द मोस्ट प्रोडक्टिव वर्क फोर्स इन द इकोनॉमी ऑफ मेजोरिटी ऑफ द डेवलपिंग नेशंस इंक्लूडिंग इंडिया मोर देन एट्टी परसेंट ऑफ रूरल वुमेन आर एंगेज इन एग्रीकल्चर एक्टिविटीज फॉर देयर लाइवलीहुड्स इट कैन बी वेरी वेरी इंपोर्टेंट फ्रॉम प्रिलिम्स पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू अबाउट ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ फार्म लाइवलीहुड्स आर फीमेल हेडेड ड्यू टू इडो विडोहुड डेजर्टसन और मेल इमाइग्रेशन एग्रीकल्चर सपोर्ट सिस्टम इन इंडिया स्ट्रेंथेंस द एक्सक्लूजन ऑफ वुमेन फ्रॉम देयर एंटाइटलमेंट्स एज एग्रीकल्चर वर्कर्स एंड कल्टिवेटर्स मोस्ट ऑफ द वुमेन हेडेड हाउस होल्ड्स आर नॉट एबल टू एक्सटेंशन सर्विसेस एक्सेस एक्सटेंशन सर्विसेस फार्मर सपोर्ट इंस्टीट्यूशंस एंड प्रोडक्शन एसेट्स लाइक सीड वाटर क्रेडिट सब्सिडी एसेट्रा एज एग्रीकल्चरल वर्कर्स वुमेन आर पेड लोअर वेज देन मेन गाइज इन कमेंट बॉक्स मेन्शन व्हाट इज कस्टम सर्विस मॉडल इट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो द नेक्स्ट इश्यू इज इंडिपेंडेंट डायरेक्टर्स डाटा बैंक मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ कॉर्पोरेट अफेयर्स हैज लॉन्च द इंडिपेंडेंट डायरेक्टर्स डाटा बैंक बैंक इन अकॉर्डेंस विद द प्रोविजंस ऑफ द कंपनीज एक्ट ट्वेंटी थर्टीन एंड द रूल्स मेड देर अंडर व्हाट इज दिस इंडिपेंडेंट डायरेक्टर्स डाटा बैंक इट्स डेवलप्ड एंड मेंटेन्ड बाय द इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ कॉर्पोरेट अफेयर्स अंडर मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ कॉर्पोरेट अफेयर्स द डाटा बैंक इज देयर यू कैन टेन टू मेड डू मिस्टेक अंडर मिनिस्टर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स और समथिंग लाइक दैट बट इट इज अंडर मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ कॉर्पोरेट अफेयर्स एप्लीकेशन provides for a wide array of e learning courses on various topics including the companies act security laws basic accountancy board practices board ethics and board effectiveness it provides an easy to access navigation uh, platform for the registration of existing independent directors as well as individuals aspiring to become independent directors Companies can register themselves with the data bank to re- uh, search, select, and connect with individuals aspiring to be independent directors. Who is an independent director? An independent director is a director on a board of directors representing minority shareholders and who doesn't have a pecuniary relationship with the company or related person except for sitting fees. The role is to take a stand unambiguously and independently. to have a check and balance on the exuberance of majority shareholders that may expose the company to unwarranted risks the company act 2013 has mandated all listed public companies to have at least one third of the total directors to be independent needs for strengthening the role they must not assume a passive role their strict accountability and eligibility will curb promoters placing their own ineligible candidates and family members on the listed company boards so the next issue is world malaria reports 2019 and it is re- released by world malaria reports 2019 recently the report provides a comprehensive update on global and regional malaria data and trends including prevention diagnosis treatment elimination and surveillance according to the report 2028 million cases of malaria are observed worldwide down from 25 251 million cases in 2010 so highest burden india along with 19 countries in sub saharan africa carried almost 85% of the global malaria burden though india has observed the largest absolute reductions among the countries that share 85% of the malaria burden global analysis the key points we are going to discuss three key points global analysis second is national analysis and then steps taken at the global level first is incident rate it has declined globally between 2010 and 2018 from 71 to 57 per cases per 1000 population deaths the number of deaths due to malaria has decreased globally globally national analysis incident rate india reported 2.6 million fewer cases in 2018 compared to 2017 thus the overall incidence of malaria in the country has reduced 
However, seven states like Uttar Pradesh, Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, West Bengal, Gujarat, Odisha, and Madhya Pradesh account for about 90% of the burden of the malaria cases in India. Deaths, overall number of deaths due to malaria in India have reduced. Steph taken at the global level, WHO's Global Technical Strategy for Malaria, it came in 2016 to 2030, it will be extended. WHO has also released a new country driven approach that is high burden to high impact to enhance response to malaria in countries where malaria cases increased in 2018 as compared to 2017. Guys, the facts are uh, heavy, I understand, but because in prelims they are going so depth, so we have to have a broad knowledge so then we can prepare properly for the prelims and we can score high. So you have to do the hard work for that. So steps taken by Indian government, national strategy plan for malaria elimination uh, and already the strategic plan gives year-wise elimination targets in various parts of the country depending upon the endemicity of malaria in next five years. It is based on the national framework for malaria elimination 2016 which is in line with WHO's global technical strategy for malaria 2016 to 2030. Indian Council of Medical Research that is ICMR has established Malaria Elimination Research Alliance India Mera India which is conglomeration of partners working uh, on malaria control. Malaria is caused by plasmodium parasites and in previous prelim already it was asked malaria is caused by what bacteria, virus, parasite etc. Most of the people did virus but it is a par parasites. The parasites are spread to people through the bites of infected female uh, anopheles mosquitoes called malaria vectors. This mosquito is anopheles mosquitoes. Once malaria is observed on 25th April. It can be noted that WHO officially endorses disease specific global awareness days for only four diseases vitalicit, HIV AIDS, TB, malaria and hepatitis. This is the case you can see obviously where we have discussed it. The next issue is Hornbill Festival. Hornbill Festival is celebrated in Nagaland to encourage uh, uh, inter-tribal interaction. It is one of the largest indigenous festivals organized by the state government of Nagaland to promote tourism in the state. The festival is celebrated annually in the first week of December in order to preserve, protect and revive the uniqueness and richness of the Naga heritage. The festival is considered the festival of festivals in Nagaland. The festival is named after the bird Hornbill, which is the most revered and admired bird for the Nagas. Guys, remember, Hornbill is a vulnerable species in IUCN list and it is also appendix 1 species in sites. So, the festival is a tribute to the bird known for its qualities for grandeur and alertness. The bird is also closely identified with the social and cultural life of the Nagas as reflected in various tribal dances, songs, and folklores. Hornbill festival exposes the culture and tradition of the tribal people and reinforces the identity of the Nagaland. The question which I asked in a prelims 2018. He wrote biographies of Majini, Garibaldi, Sivaji and Sri Krishna, stayed in America for some time and was also elected to the central assembly he was. Options are Aravinda Ghosh, Bipin Chandrapal, Lala Lajpat Rai, Motilal Nehru. The right answer is Lala Lajpat Rai. He also wrote the Unhappy India, uh, then uh, History of Arya Samaj and British Debt to India. So these kind of books are written by Lala Lajpat Rai and guys in comment box mention in which session of India National Congress Lala Lajpat Rai became the president. Next question which is asked in prelims 2018. Which of the following uh, leaf modifications occurs? In the desert areas to inhibit to water loss. Options are hard and waxy leaves, tiny leaves, thorn instead of leaves. All of answers are right. The current answer is answer D. So guys in this way we are trying to give all the previous year questions so that in 5 months uh, we will cover all the previous year prelim questions especially very very important questions. So then uh, sometimes the repetitions are made and uh, you won't tend to uh, lose the questions. So thank you guys. Have a nice day.